Well, good afternoon. As the 60th mayor of Atlanta, I am humbled to stand with you today on such an important occasion in our country. I stand with you to say that the city of Atlanta hears you. The city of Atlanta stands with you. And in the spirit of so many students not far from here in the Atlanta University Center who changed the world, I know that we are watching the birth of a movement and the generations will never be the same. I wish that I only stood here as the 60th mayor of Atlanta, but I stand here as someone who has personally and painfully been aware of the impact of gun violence in our communities. Just a few years ago, my 18-year-old nephew, a college student working a part-time job, was murdered in a case of mistaken identity, caught in the middle of a gang war. Some would say that one life was lost on that day, but what I say is there were several lives lost on that day including the young men who murdered him and now sit in prison. But what I do know is that his life, his death, my election, and every election that is to come is to making sure that we have leaders who make decisions that will allow our young people to grow and to thrive and to be all that God has created them to be. That is the hope that I have for my family, for my four children, and for all of our children. Some would say that you are a wounded generation, scarred by too much violence, too little attention, and too much selfish fixation only on the things that we have somehow reason to be our rights. But I declare that this generation is full of wounded warriors. And I believe that as a country, we will all be healed by your scars. You are a reminder that the right to life applies to our children sitting in our classrooms. The right to life. Applies to our sons on the corners in our communities. The right to life applies to our daughters who long to be free from domestic violence. So the question that is now posed in the hearts and consciousness of our nation is how many more? And I stand with you today, the city of Atlanta stands with you today when we say not one more. I am honored to stand here as we press forward as elected leaders, as lawmakers who are sworn to serve all, to protect all. We stand shoulder to shoulder with you. And right now, I tell you, we hear your voices, we feel your pain, and we will act with your best interests at heart. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your activism. Thank you for changing our world.